I was defining love by 20 minutes of pleasure. And most of the time I didn't remember their names. Because I have no idea who I got it from. I, it was June 15, 1986. I was on my way to work. I had a nose infection that they gave me some, some medicine for. And then I had some spots on my leg. And I went in and the doctor says to me, at 25, you shouldn't have shingles. You probably have HIV. We'll give you the test. That was 27 years ago. Went to work and I said to my bartender, I said, Mary Beth, I don't want to die. And she said, Greg, you're not going to die. So I held on to that. That was all I needed. Some of my friends committed suicide. I watched my friends deteriorate, and, and, but in the process I saw them create a positive life. I don't want them to die in vain. I'm here for them each and every day. I was infected for almost five years and only two people knew. I moved away and ended up coming back and slowly it's been a process. Nothing happens overnight. I've always been a black sheep and in the family so I, I guess they're not surprised by anything with me anymore. They don't talk much about it and that's okay. I mean we've had to deal with a lot of issues. Um, when I told my mom she said, told me I had to get right with the Lord. And I laughed, because I didn't know what that meant. But I allowed myself to try to figure that out. I have a lot of regrets, but I'm where I'm supposed to be and doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. I teach you everything a college student should know about HIV and AIDS on the Kinesiology 314. What we look at is not only teaching you to understand what HIV is and the stigmas and discrimination around it, but how can you Put it into your world in a way that you're aware of it, but not infected with it. You can stand up there and you can lecture about anything you want to. You can read the material, but do you own it and do you present it in a way that, you know, this is me, this is my life. These are my mistakes. You know, value my journey and release yourself to your own journey. My life isn't different. Yeah. But what is different is that I do not view myself as a victim. And in not viewing myself as a victim, I own everything that happened to me. And if I can teach that to somebody, then they can own their stuff and not be so oppressed by it. And I'll be here a little while longer. Yeah, so get your cocktail, get, get your seat, the show's gonna go again. <laughs>